Let me show you what we've got right now. A brighter sky than I showed you earlier. Look at that picture, people. We gotta like that. There are still a few clouds floating through, but uh, that's definitely brighter than what we had earlier. 78 right now. That's the highest temperature that we've had on this day. And 78 is a good 20 degrees, exactly above the average of 58 degrees, 90. 90 was the record in 1991. Well, today's 78. We're ahead of schedule because that's a typical high temperature for June the 9th. Here we are in April. What do you expect as we look ahead? It's going to be cooler tomorrow. Let's, let's be real clear on that. We're going to be cooler. But it's still going to be, I think, a little bit above average. Just not, you know, 20 degrees above average, but cooler than today. Wide range of temperatures. I think you could find highs in the upper 40s around the east end and highs in the 60s as you push inland or south of the city. Some thunder is also possible tomorrow, primarily in the afternoon. And then you get a quiet Wednesday. You get a quiet Thursday as well by Friday. You're back to a bit of a wet weather chance. What we see out there right now, some cloud cover, yes. A couple of little sprinkles have made their way through the area around Sullivan, Ulster, Dutchess, also around Monmouth County. Not too much. Not too, too much. Bigger picture shows you pretty interesting dynamics, okay? I mean, we have this low-pressure system that's, that's up around upstate New York, and it's pulling this cold front with it, and it's pushing this warm front. Now, north of the warm front, portions of Maine are going to pick up a foot and a half of snow out of this event. So, uh, let's say Sugarloaf, perhaps, will get like a lot of snow out of this. Uh, Sunday River will pick up some, again, the skiers, that's where you want to go, northern Maine, central and northern Maine. But then as this front comes through the area, you're going to catch some rain. Notice us, however, we are right here. We're in the sweet spot. We're not picking up too much tonight, but there is going to be a chance for some rain as the front comes through tomorrow. So here's the deal. Front comes through. You pick up a pop-up chance for a shower, maybe even a storm. That then pushes on through. Your Wednesday is quiet, kind of a seasonable day in terms of where your temperatures should be for this time of the year. Same thing for Thursday. Wednesday, you're back to a chance for some wet weather. Not tonight. It's mild, 55 degrees, your overnight low. Interesting thing, 55, the lowest temperature you're going to get all day tomorrow. And then you only go up to 62, so it's not making a big rise from that morning low to that afternoon high. 62, again, above average by a little bit. And a chance for a uh, p.m. storm chances out there as well. I think we'll see a little bit of rain tomorrow, but it's primarily after like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Could be a little bit that precedes that, but I think that's more likely when you'd find it. Then Wednesday and Thursday, pretty quiet out there. 58 Wednesday, 57 Thursday, where temperatures should be. Friday, you're 61 with a shower chance. Partly sunny Saturday at 63. Sunday looking pretty good as well at around 61 degrees. So all in all, I mean, here it is. <laughs> here it is, Monday. Yeah. Let's talk the upcoming weekend, shall we? I think it looks pretty good out there. Can we Never just say her today, by the way? Yeah. Shockingly awesome. It was. It was. It, I mean, just it, it crazy. Really was. You love the warm weather. Unbelievable. Yes. Oh, yeah. You referred to yourself as a warm weather person earlier, and I'm thinking, like, do you realize who you're sitting next to? I know, exactly. I know. The king of warm good. weather, right? Seriously. Right? Puts a smile on lots of folks' faces. Yeah. I'm happy for that. Thanks, Rob.